you are out of your mind if you think you can take over an entire planet with just your outdated ship and a, a handful of people. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. No! This is stupid! You people are out of your freaking minds! There is no way they're gonna go for this! Wh who? Where is the elder guy? Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Yeah, you you try that, now Bucko. What's out there? Things are gonna be more interesting from here on out. You people are out of your freaking minds. Where's the old guy? You do know. There's quite a few of them. Uh, you do know you're out of. You're out of your depth. Choose floor. Never seen a ship like yours before. But then again, I haven't seen any ships. Because you guys are. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Medical. Change that. How did we get here? El Elder, Doctor, Doctor DaCosta. Uh. You were one of the first ones to meet us, right? Why? I know it must seem strange to you. I am not a captain, nor am I a security guard. But I was brought along for a very specific reason. Hopefully to speak the reason to the captain. captain. me to de-escalate situations. Uh, pardon me saying, but we did not know who you were or what your intents were. So, Captain Breckenridge wanted me to come along as a friendly face and keep the conversation amicable. I am glad that you were peaceful, and my role was as limited as it was. Thank you. Um, what do you do here? You're a doctor, a doctor of what? I'm a doctor and a counselor. I assist my wife Lorelai in performing minor medical duties, but I also practice psychology and help maintain our crew's mental health. You do know your captain's out of his out of her mind if she tries to take the planet. You guys are way out of your place and out of your time. Do you even I don't think he even comprehends. What what was life living on a like living on a colony ship? Ah, life on a colony ship has its ups and downs, as you can probably imagine. I tend to look on the bright side of things, however. To the best of our knowledge, we were on a critical mission, saving the human race from extinction. That notion was always with us, and it instilled a sense of pride and duty. Sure, the living quarters could be considered cramped, and we could go nowhere else. But we also had near endless time with friends and loved ones. I suppose as I get on in years, I have learned to appreciate that more than anything. The pleasure was mine. Oh my god, Sarah, these people are out of their freaking minds. Engineering. Was it back this way? I mean, it's very cool and all, but these people are nuts. Mess hall. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you Industrial workbench. I doubt they're. Reactor computer. Great. Sure is nice to know there are other people out. How, how do we get back to our ship? Sarah, I'm lost. I can't tell you how many times I've had to Engineering to control in computer beta. Alright, time to rely on the old scanner. It's saying it's down a level? Okay, well. Such is life. We'll figure this out. 
Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're following this scanner because I'm completely lost. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Cargo bay is where we came in. I don't think these people have any idea what they're doing. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. You you got that right, Bucko. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time with this one. Well, I guess I guess we head down to the the planet and talk to this guy. I I don't think it's going to be fruitful, though. I'm trapped by luggage. Why are you still here? Go off and do your business. Uh... Okay. I I don't know what to do about this. I don't think they have any clue... Hey there. ...on what they're asking to do. To conquer an entire planet and disrupt... Hello. ...a major corpo? That's just a bad idea. That just seems horrible. They don't have any clue what's going on here. Ah, how you doing? So we gotta go talk to the CEO. Yes, what? Yeah, they don't have any chance. They have zero uh, chance of making this happen for them. Campbell was his name, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello, what functionary. Day, huh? Kevy Andres. Between you and me. I'm kind of glad most of the execs never show up to work. They sound really boring and really inattentive. Maybe they need to go. Let me know if I'm able to help with anything. I'm here to see your boss. Hi there. I've got a lot on my plate right now, but I'm happy to help if you need it. Uh, fine, you're not very useful. We try to Excuse me, yes. you yeah. can't just waltz in there. I we didn't! Do you have an appointment? I tried to talk to you and you wouldn't talk to me. I kind of have a problem, or well, you have a problem, but I'm here to help it out. I'm here in important business. Don't you know who I am? Do I expect her to know who I am? I'm here to talk about the ship in orbit. Just let me in. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Uh, n no, I'm just ready to go in. Why don't you just let me go? What were your thoughts when the when that big ship showed up? Just curious. People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. Well, you might be. But then nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be bad for business. Uh, let me, Just let me into the board room. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry. Even they call it that. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. All right. I don't want to what? risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. Is Neon we've that got bad? got something special here. We should embrace that. All right, well. Belongs right. Thank you. I... Who are you? want to compete with Neon. Bayou's Ruth. I, it's I'm not tired important. of hearing this Bring conversation. <sighs> I understand you're the man I need to talk to about this strange ship in orbit, right? I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. I don't care. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. 
come see the aliens. <laughs> That's a really bad idea. You know that, right? Uh, let's just get to the matter at hand. They're not aliens, first off. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? It's it's a full of humans from Earth from twenty from two hundred years ago. It's a generation ship. It's a Ricky Oler ship full of upright colonists who think they own the planet. Well that's true as well. I'm sure you can exploit that. No 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 no. Let's just stick with the facts. It's a generation full ship full of colonists from Earth two hundred years ago. Well, that's something. Yes. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. No. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. That's horrible. Uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. That's an idea. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. No, she doesn't. It's a horrible idea. Just tell me what you want to do. Uh, so they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants? That's not a good idea. Wait, why not? Why do I have to buy a thread drive? Why can't we just let some other authority handle this? Yeah, yeah, there's got to be... Are you Free Star Collective or you you see? I don't know. Why can't they just sell on the other side of the planet or something? That sounds like the best idea. Tell me you can't come here, you gotta go to the other side. Too effing bad. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Ugh. Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No. Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. These are human beings. You're worried about landscaping. That's absurd. I understand your point from a business stance, but I disagree. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make and approve decisions around here, not you. So... As much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso group to take it into account. Uh, so they can live here, but they have any indentured servants. Am I getting that right? Is there any other authority, governing authority about this? Can maybe they can help out? We operate outside of the Free Stars Army, uh, of course you, see, you do. Partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. Uh, not going to be a good idea. But they've been indentured servant. <sighs> oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. Oh, but stop. this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> hey. Why would I have to buy the grav drive? Do you know how big of a grav drive it would take to power a ship of that size? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grave drive can't come cheap. No, it and won't. I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. Oh my God, that leaves the scumbags. only other party in this negotiation. You. No, 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 no. 
Are you suggesting I destroy the ship when you said cease to exist? You just want the problem to go away? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Uh, I think I made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? What if, after all this, they continue to insist their claim on this planet predates yours? That's what they're saying. What happens if? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. What is the Centaurus we the Proclamation? We systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Uh, hypothetically, what could make a ship like that go away? Probably overloading their engines and making the whole reactor blow up. I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. Uh -huh. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Don't even think for one moment that this would be acceptable I'm, behavior. I'm not. You can't just blow up their ship. That's insane. I'm not. I'm just asking. Ugh. You're just a... Oh, I hate you. You're slimy. You're just super slimy. You put me in a bad position. I will work on the grab drive situation and sell them elsewhere. How about that? Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benno St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. It was. It sucks. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. I hate you. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beach. And they're right back to talking about shit that I don't care about. I'm trying to decide if this is even worth the effort. I mean, somewhere up there is a ship full of generational colonists that want to stay here. It's a nice place, don't get me wrong. But we really came just to visit your old mentor, which I can't find. Do you think she has this place somewhere down here by the beach? Or, I didn't see anything up there. We didn't see anything... <clears throat> we didn't see anything down in, up in orbit, so... Do we just need to look around more? I don't know. Chunks. Do you think she'd be staying in chunks? Maybe just... Maybe she lives in one of these places and we just didn't see her because it was nighttime. That's a thought. No! I'm looking for a woman named Aja. What am I wearing? We've been having oh, some I'm wearing with full suit. Activities. Okay, never mind. But don't worry. Oh my god. Are these... Oh, there's, a, there's somebody. This is probably the Your best guess. vacation I've ever taken. You you don't even look female. I was worried about my beach body no, until you're... I spoke with that lady at Enhance. No, 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 no. Not, not, not doing enhancing my body. Thank you very much. Any more cabanas for me to look at? Oh, there's a trail going off that way. Whoa, that was a bad idea. I swear this jump pack is going to get me killed. Let's see. Do I really even be bothering these? What is this? Desktop fishbowl? Why? Why is this out here? Huh. 
I'm on vacation because I don't want to be bothered by anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could just stay here forever, I would. Resort gas. This this game may be the best way to do anything. And now we see how the working class lives around here. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, you don't think Aja lives here, do you? Uh, ooh, ooh, not good. This is what we've been putting through the colonists through if we wanted to make them staff here. Wow, okay. Maybe not great. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to do the whole ship drive thing. I, I don't know where your person is. I, I'm sorry. Who? Who lives here anyways? Does anyone actually live here? You know, I was just thinking to myself, this is the first time we've actually seen living quarters. We've been all over New Atlantis. Didn't see much in the way of houses, but this is the first time we've seen, like, how people live. I'm just glad I don't work on the luxury cruisers that bring people. Why? Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, Hello. Don't mind me, just just looking around the slums. We got a workout facility. Okay. Um Yeah, not the greatest of conditions. I will say that much. Not great. Uh okay. Sarah. What is that? It's contraband, isn't it? Is, can anyone see me? It's 14,000 in credits. 14,000 in credits. You've picked up a contraband item. These are illegal to have in your on you or in your ship. Security ship orbiting major systems. We'll scan your ship for contraband and not let you land until the scan is complete. You have a chance of smuggling contraband past them. If you fail, you could be arrested and have your confis contraband confiscated. Great. Better think about what you're taking. I am. It's 14 grand. If I have to buy a grav drive from these people, I need money. And that's 14 grand. 14 grand. I'm not passing that up. And at the same time, I'm thinking we need to go. Because I can't find your person. I can't find this friend of yours. So maybe some other time. And now that we've got a job to do, maybe we should just go. Because I can't find her. I'm looking for a woman named Aja. Aja, hello, Aja. Aja, the former mentor of Sarah, please come to the white phone. No idea. Bosco, prepare the ship. We're getting out of here. We gotta go back up and talk to those colonists. Hello, Captain. Hello, hello. Hi, Bosco. Good to be back on board. What was that? Did I see something pass through the emergency? I've never noticed that before. I don't know. I'm carrying contraband on my body. I'm gonna put it in here. Oh, oh, this is not good. I don't want to pass that up, but. Okay, he, oh uh, yeah. We may have a problem. But that's to get home. We have to go through Freestar Collective Space. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, uh. I'll be back. Captain Gray. Hi. Greetings. Hi. I'm going to stash this. 
Because I don't know how to get this back through Free Star Collection Space. So I'm going to stash this right. Just, how do I drop this? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. That's gonna stay there. Because I have no way of getting rid of that and still get home. Wait. That, that, that's a trade, that's a, a trade thing. Can I sell that to them? They deal in... Hand it over. Now. Oh shit. Hi. Here you are. Hi. You caught me in a good mood, but try that again. And we'll have a problem. Well, that solves that. Go to Hope Tech. We have to go to Hope Tech. I have no idea where Hope Tech is. Do we need to go back and talk? No. Do we need to go back and talk to those people? There's nothing we're seeing in this place. Where is Hope Tech? Did I scan this? Arima, we didn't. Tech Force to Prima 4. Then is. That's a gas giant as well. We need to scan these before I forget. So we're going to go there. Hopefully, you don't get in any trouble. Whoa. What is that? Hi. Can you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. What? Who? What? Where? I'm... Hi. Hi. Maybe I should give you directions to the nearest marriage camps. Are you guys lost? Yes. Yes, we do. I am so sorry about this. Some of us get a little testy when we're in the wrong. In the wrong, my ass. They're gonna say it's ahead of us. You watch. <laughs> well, we'll just see about that, won't we? Where? I don't even know where you're going. I don't. Who? Who? I. Just follow your wife's. You see, John? <laughs> I told you. Just follow your wife. Oh, fine, you were right. That make you happy? Uh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. Okay, yeah, I don't know where you're going. I'm not sure I care enough. Just, just, just go away. Hello? Hi. I'm so confused. I just want to scan this and get on my way. Oh, jeez. Who's, who's this? You see death. Okay, I'm glad I didn't. That's... Yeah, you did most of the work. Would have stuck their necks out for a patrol. Thanks. No problem. Any way we can repay you? Money. I could use some extra repair parts if you got them. I'll just take the salvage, if you don't mind. Salvage rights are yours. Thank you. Thanks again for the help. You see out. Okay. Well, that was useful, I guess. So there's some right there. How far is that? That's 2,800 meters, and that is much closer. I'm not entirely sure I did anything with that, but it's okay. 
I would have liked to have captured them, or at least boarded one, but with the UC Def guys here, probably not going to happen. We came to scan this. Let's do that. And that is scanned. Good. Surveyed. Where should we go now? How do we get to... We got to get to Narion. So I think best safest choice is going to Olympus or do we want to visit Arane? Let's visit Arane and see what happens. Nice jump. Right on target. Any trouble? I don't see any trouble. Okay, it's the first time we've been here. Let's see if we can't exit the debris field before we do anything. What is that? A shipping crate? Multiple shipping crates. Hang on. Gold? How far is that one? 4,000. A deserted biotics lab. Really? Let's pick up these crates while we're here, then we'll scan the system. Do you think it's worth going and checking this place out? Yeah, let's do that. Setting down. Everything in the green. Why? I don't know. We're just doing it. Let's just head out. Look at this world. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. If you say... Who's that? Hang on. Are they taking back off or are they landing? I lost track of them. Ship landing site. 600 meters away. Okay. Sarah, before we do anything else, I want to go check out this ship. 